Hey, first graders, our big book this week is called Garden Helpers, and the author is Charlotte Rose, okay? So this is a nonfiction text like we have been reading in our interactive read-alouds, and in this book, you are going to learn facts and information. I want you to think, do you have a garden at your house or have you ever seen a garden? What do you know about gardens? Often, there are bugs or animals in gardens. Some bugs can hurt plants, but some animals and bugs actually help plants, and they all have different jobs that can help plants to stay alive. You will read about different kind of animals that come into gardens. Look at the smaller pictures down here. What are you noticing? Do you recognize? any of these animals that come into gardens. All right, let's read to learn about these different animals. Garden Helpers by Charlotte Rose. A garden. There are lots of animals in a vegetable garden. Some animals can harm the plants. These animals are pesky, pests. But other animals can help the plants. These animals are garden helpers. And we see a picture of a frog. And on this one, these pests look like they're animals or like a bug eating the plants. A strawberry patch. Ooh, if you like strawberries, give a thumbs up. I like strawberries. Beetles poke holes in the berries and leaves. They can harm the strawberries. Here we go, a nonfiction text feature. We have some labels labeling the beetles. <clears throat> but a mantis can help the strawberries. It grabs a beetle and gobbles it down. So I want you to think, how does this praying mantis help the strawberries? Let's go back to the text. But a mantis can help the strawberries. It grabs a beetle and gobbles it down. Oh, it eats the beetle, so the beetle can't eat the strawberries. Potatoes. White grubs chew on the roots. They can harm the potatoes grubs are these white things roots these are the roots of the plant but ants can help the potatoes they find the grubs and carry them away oh here are the ants here's the grub and the ant is carrying the grub away tomatoes caterpillars chew on the stems and leaves they can harm the tomatoes. Caterpillars. <clears throat> but wasps can help the tomatoes. They eat the caterpillars for a tasty lunch. Ooh, here's the wasp. Peppers. Grasshoppers cut big holes in the leaves. They can harm the peppers, grasshoppers. But a bluebird can help the peppers. It plucks off grasshoppers one by one. Bluebird. Lettuce. Slugs make holes in the curly leaves. They can harm the lettuce, slugs. But a toad can help the lettuce. It slurps up the slugs with its sticky tongue. It's a toad. String beans. A rabbit nibbles on the leaves and pods. It can harm the beans. Rabbit. But a dog can help the beans. It chases the rabbit far, far away. Woof. Here's the dog chasing the rabbit so it doesn't nibble on the leaves from the string beans. Garden helpers get rid of 
garden pests. So the helper is the mantis and the pest is the beetle. The helper is the ant, the pest is the grub. The helper is the wasp and the pest is the caterpillar. The helper is the bird, the pest is the grasshopper. The helper is the toad, the pest is the slug. The helper is the dog, the pest is the rabbit. And here's the author's note. My garden is always under attack by pests, but there are lots of helpful animals that fight the